can either take it in a healthy way, like trying to be as fit as possible and trying to surf early morning when, there, when the tide is good for that, but then other people can also take it like big body way. There's people who are very relaxed, but there's also people who are very competitive and who will, you know, kind of bring their anger and stress of life into the water. It's a bit of a challenge, especially as a girl. But the summer is gone. What is the main advice that you give to your students? Uh, safety first. To try to stay safe, pretty much. It's the first one and to try to have as, as much fun as possible is the second one. Well, basically, as an instructor, I've done surf lessons and I've also um, done training, group training. And it's like all about, you know, making someone feel comfortable and letting them know that they can, you know, achieve what they want to achieve. Um, giving them that self-confidence because if you're not confident in fitness or in surfing, you're not going to perform well and you're going to walk out having, you know, kind of a bad experience. A feature that I respect a lot of my students is commitment. And not only commitment here in the water, also commitment before they arrive here, like making an effort to be in good shape, to be ready for the challenge. Yeah, what I like to see my students definitely is, is commitment. If it's necessary to do dawn patrol, wake up at 4 a.m. several days in a row, do it. Uh, if conditions are good and we want to make a good use of the of the opportunities, good conditions give us, stay an extra hour in the water, stuff like that, commitment, commitment, commitment. Surfing and fitness actually have a lot in common, you know, when someone is starting, it's both kind of that fear and that uncertainty about getting into fitness or getting into, sur um, um, getting into surfing. So I think it's all about, you know, empowering the person who's either taking the surf lesson or the fitness lesson and giving them the tools they need to succeed. And once they kind of do it once and feel successful, they'll be coming back, you know, for life. But the summer is gone. But the summer is gone I would like to say that it is healthier than the average lifestyle. You want to be toned yet yet light. So Try to avoid carbs at night. I try to eat well, fruits, good protein, a lot of eggs. Try to do complementary workout. Like just surfing can be enough, but it's important to do something extra, either ride a bicycle, go to the gym. Um, so fitness I think is an important part of surfing, but I think, I don't know, surfing, is you know so much more than that and there's so many surfers that you know they don't do the fitness side of it they just practice surfing and I think that I think fitness is a great form of like cross training but for me fitness is kind of one of the ways I can you know like um, release my energy and pen up you know if I'm having a bad day I can kind of let that go and fitness and surfing is a lot like that as well for me and other people too. You gotta you have to know the area a little bit there are certain patterns and you have to keep tracking conditions online, uh, swell reports, forecast predictions, always hope the best. Sometimes you think that it's going to be the best day and end up being a very terrible day and sometimes you are expecting nothing and end up being an epic succession.